Hi folks, my name is Vern and I'm doing a blog. I'm, out, I'm a mountain biker. Uh, one, I want to make sure that everybody knows, you know, I'm just doing these videos, so I got a blog, vernhe.com, and I'm just an ordinary guy out there, just a blogger, uh, who does these blogs because I want people to know what the products are. It's not these, these products are good products. I, I buy them myself, and uh, to make these, uh, to write them, I love writing. That's what I do. I'm a writer. Um, I just want people to know about these products. Now, it's my honest opinion. I'm not going to give you any crap or bullshit. And uh, I'm just just an average guy doing this. I'm not a TV personality, obviously. Um, shoot, uh, I was told to comb my hair. Um, but I just, just, I'm just a mountain biker who wants to get the word out on some of these products. Okay. Uh, if you like the products, please just go to my blog, vernhe.com. Find what I'm talking about here. And, and I, I should have it in the title of this video. Um, but if I don't, just go to vernhe.com and uh, find the product you like and buy it through me. Uh, you know, most of these are on Amazon. And so uh, it'll link you right to Amazon and just click. It's the only way I, uh, I could give you this content. Uh, today, it's getting cold. Um, and when it gets cold, uh, we're going to talk about uh, winter products that uh, you can buy to make yourself warmer. I mean, out in the desert here, uh, it gets down to 40 degrees and below. I know, that's, you know, it's, we got 285 days of sun, so 285 days of sun, uh, I'm not complaining. I get to ride all year long. The, the only time I don't is when it's under 40 degrees, but now I kind of change that because I can make myself a little bit warmer. I'm going to talk about um, uh, three of the, uh, two of the products uh, on my blog um, that I use to make myself warmer and that's this uh this ski mask now they say if you this is made by rock brothers and you can get it i think it was listed uh for fourteen dollars or thirteen ninety nine i think on amazon and uh if they you know i never thought i'd wear one of these but the old u.s army used to say that you would uh lose 50% of your heat if you didn't cover your head. Well, that's not true. It's actually 7 to 10% you lose off your head. But still, it's a good deal. Just got to find the hole here. It covers your head. It's made of fleece and polyester. It's kind of like a spandex. It's one size fits all. My head's pretty big, so this kind of kind of fits me snugly. And it's also got some leftover material on the bottom, which I like, and it keeps you warm. You can tuck it in your shirt or whatever, or just wear it the way you, the way it is. Um, I like this product. It's comfortable, uh, and I wear it anytime it's under 40 degrees because uh, that wind chill. I'm gonna wear it up tr Christmas tree uh, cutting this weekend, even though it's not mountain biking. But uh, my helmet goes right over this, no problem. So that's a ski mask, Rock Brothers, good product. Uh, another product I like, now gloves. I'm going to talk about these. Gloves can be a pain because uh, no, these are lightweight racing gloves. These are by Kinetic. They're uh, Fly Kinetic gloves, and they're 30 bucks. But they're not. They're something you wear in the springtime because these really don't protect you against. They're they're a nice tight fit and everything, but they don't protect you against uh, the cold. And I went out with these. Uh, the other day, I expect my hands to be warm. It was uh, in the 30s, around 32 degrees. My dog's water bowl froze, so you know it was cold. And the wind chill, my hands almost fell off. So um, definitely not going to wear these, nor am I going to wear my half gloves. Half gloves are out. Uh, I suggest these are made by a company called S O U K E Suki, I guess. Um, it's got a little bit of fleece in it. Uh, in fact, if we want to know what exactly it's made, um, 
label. I'll read off what it's made of. It's a nylon polyester polyurethane blend. They're waterproof, windproof, and repel water. It's got some grip on here. The one reason why I like um, like these gloves a little better than most is because of this thing right here. You look for this symbol here. That's a touch screen symbol. So what that means is you put the glove on and you go to your phone. You see this right here? Uh, you know what? Here I am trying to use this finger and I cut it off in an accident. So that ain't going to work. Let's try the other finger that I do have. Okay, I'm going to put this glove on. Again, I like this material. It keeps you warm, and uh, but they're tight, so they're not like work gloves or anything. And here I have the finger again. As you can see, I could touch the screen. The screen moves. You see that? And I could change things. I could go to the. That's why it's basically what I need because uh, when I look at Strava, if something happens uh, on this app, I want to know how far I'm going or whatever. I could use the Strava app, or I can make a phone call. Don't have to take my glove off, and that's the problem. Basically, if the glove, these gloves were twenty-two dollars, I believe. Yeah, I, think, I believe they were twenty-two bucks, but you'd have to check that on Amazon. Um, good deal, nice and warm, but it doesn't have that symbol, the touch screen symbol right there. These don't, so I had to constantly take them off. I like these gloves; they're lightweight, good thing to wear in the spring. But in the winter, you want a little bit of heavier glove. Okay, um, another thing I want to push is prompt mountain biking and Beatty mountain biking. Uh, making a big push on my blog. I'm running about things you see in the desert. Uh, I have a new uh, blog that just came out about the Joshua Tree. And uh, I'm going to push that right now because the Joshua Tree, nobody really knows about it. It's a yucca plant. It really isn't a tree at all. It's a succulent. But it's an endangered tree in California. Uh, I mean, they basically, well, California, I didn't get into that, that but they, <laughs> the Joshua Tree has its own national park in Joshua Tree National Park in the southern part of the Mojave Desert. It's endemic to, this, uh, to the uh, Mojave, meaning you can only find it in the Mojave Desert, uh, and we have them here in Bronx. And one thing that I'm going to push is, you know, you got to see these these plants blooming. I got pictures of them in my blog. Um, just a fantastic. When they bloom, they just explode. And that's what I'll be revealing in my blog. You know, things that you see in the desert that you don't commonly see anywhere else. Uh, I want people to know about them because I want people to come see them. That's the only way we're going to save our desert out here in Brump. Uh, if you come and visit Southern Nevada and ride your mountain bike. Mountain biking out here is great. Uh, especially in Prompt. We've got horse trails out here. I love them. Uh, we don't have man-made trails out here. How do you find them? People put them on their trail app. You know, whether you have Strava, whether you have single track, um, trail trail guide, I guess, is one of them. Uh, anyway, so this is a plug for Beatty and Nevada, Prompt, Nevada. Come out and see us. Beatty, Nevada is 120 miles north. On Highway 95, Prompt is uh, 60, about 60, 65 miles west of uh, Las Vegas. Beatty is 120 miles north of Las Vegas. Uh, we're real close, and uh, we're worth seeing. So thanks, thanks for watching.